All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's gonna be a tutorial on the dream scene. I'm gonna go ahead and show you based on what the title says, how to permanently fix the dream scene issue with the uh, icons disappearing or shadowing out. I think the last time I did it back on Jan um, July 12th, 2010, I said I know how to go ahead and fix it, but that was more or less a temporary fix. And I don't know anyone as far as I know, that has a permanent fix. Um, I actually found one back in October, and I've been sitting on this for quite a long time, but I haven't really had any time. And also back in November, some events came up that kind of canceled all my upcoming videos, um, this being one of them. But finally, I get the chance to go ahead and get this video out to you guys and get you guys um, back on the dream scene side and have those icons fixed permanently without them shadowing out and without you reapplying the icons over and over and over again every time you log out and restart your computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the particular program that I have in mind and uh, get it working. Alright, so on my desktop I have the general dream scene enabler I think that we're all acquainted with uh, this one usually enables the dream scene for 32-bit and 64-bit but the thing is that when you apply a dream scene by right-clicking set as desktop background the icons in your desktop the labels they more or less become invisible and that was a bit of a annoyance with some people now there's a program called dream scene 7 uh, this actually permanently fixes it and uh, for those that already have dream scene installed it would be recommended that you go ahead and install dream scene 7 and those that are considering about installing uh, dream scene it would be best that you guys install it uh, right now so when you download it for, with the link that I have below in the info bar go ahead and run as administrator by right clicking and the program should be coming up. Do a full installation by pressing next. And it'll go ahead and continue, press next, press next. Don't create a desktop background because, um, actually go ahead and do so for right now. Press next, install, it'll go ahead and install. And then you're finished and then press finish and it'll launch. All you have to do is just press install dream scene. A different theme will come up. If you have a customized theme, it'll go ahead and change over to, I guess, the Windows 7 dream scene theme. All right. Let's go ahead and press OK when it's done and exit out of there if you want. Now, any dream scene that you have, um, you can go to dreamscene.org and go ahead and download any dream scenes that they have. They're in zip folders. Um, one that I got from dreamscene.org is called Moon View. Um, what you want to do is go ahead and right click on it. And let me just go ahead and show the desktop for right now, just so you guys are familiar. Okay. So on the desktop, you see these icons and you see the labels underneath them. When I go ahead and switch over to dream scene, they're not going to disappear. So I'm going to go ahead and do it now. And voila. The labels are still shown. Uh, the dream scene is still rolling. And you don't have to constantly fix the icons over and over and over again. So that basically takes care of it permanently as far as I'm concerned. I've done uh, an X amount of tests on it just to make sure that I am right on this. And I guess I can say safely that I am. So as far as I'm concerned, I restarted the computer, um, had the dream scene running at the time. I logged off, re-logged back on. The labels were still set, and uh, I mean, that basically fixes it. Don't go to any other dream scene enabler besides Dream Scene 7. That's the only one that works, and that's the only one that I'd endorse uh, if it, you know, paid me to do so. But, you know, it's freeware, so no worries. Um, you don't have to go ahead and keep this Dream Scene 7 icon on the desktop. You can delete it. There's no point of having it there. Um, also, it does have an option to go ahead and uninstall it. And depending on the performance of you guys' computer, I would recommend any computer from uh, Intel Core 2 
duo to go ahead and keep dream scene if you have a pentanium 4 don't even bother but yeah, so this is my video on how to permanently fix the Dream Scene icon fix. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for more. I have a lot more customization videos coming up. And uh, yeah, all right, take care, guys. Bye.